we got to hold on a little bit. There hasn't been as much rain this year, so Mr. Bushhider is kind of exposed. the berm. land this one way up that hill Our next shot is the hanging cylinder. White, black, orange pipes. <laughs> ah. All right, let's see if we can get this ax blade. Let's uh, clean this up a little bit. Red Cross.
rock shot. Let's take a breather. Our next shot is the white plate way at the top of the hill here. is good. Let's go for a little walk. Let's leave this guy right here. Cylinder. <laughs> Candy cane is busted, so I'm supposed to shoot at Mr. Dole White instead. I'm supposed to hit Mr. Dull White again, but from the other position. got Mr. Candy Cane's brother. It wasn't a direct hit, but it was definitely a hit. Big red gong. This is the one that Sam says anybody can hit. And because of that, he came in third and I came in second last time. <laughs> Gosh, I gotta go from this side. All right, Miss Peppermint. <laughs> well, I missed the cave bell earlier today. Let's see if I can get him with the second shot.
What do I always say? It's always like that after a match. So you guys, I don't own this rifle yet, uh, but it is a Peabody and it's the first pattern Peabody. It is in 50 rim fire and that is 5060. I don't have an original case for you. Today I have shot this gun using center fire cartridges and uh, there's a center fire breech block conversion in this rifle. This is the original rim fire uh, breech block. Anyway, my shooting buddy said that he had this. He didn't really care about it until he saw me shoot it and become dangerous with it. Now he doesn't want to sell it to me. But anyway, um, here's just another chapter in my rimfire study.